Tracing back the journey means acknowledging the fact that sailing isn't always about the placid waters. Braving the strongest waves, appreciating the wind, and adjusting the sail are pervasive in ensuring that the target goals will be achieved. This is no easy, but let me take you to a journey on how District 5 remain true and consistent to its mantra of becoming a community where good becomes great. Going beyond the default in transforming holistic, globally competitive, and morally upright learners is truly a challenge after two-year hiatus of the implementation of face-to-face classes. This has never been an option to the school heads because they had taken the opportunity to communicate the depth of mission, vision, and core values so that all persons involved in the education process will have a uniform understanding of it. This was reflected in the different programs, projects, and activities. So that everyone will be knowledgeable about this, it was displayed in conspicuous places in the school and has been one of the priorities in the roster of topics discussed during the meetings. More so, the institutional goals and policies has been the basis in the crafting of the Annual Improvement Plan, Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, and the School Monitoring, Evaluation, and Adjustment Report. Alternative Work Arrangements, Contingency Plan, Communication Plan, and the Barangay Resolutions stating support to the resumption of face-to-face classes were undertaken to ensure that school operations are consistent with the regulations and issuances. And it doesn't end there. To support the development of the learners, various programs along reading, Brigada Pagpasa, Brigada Escuela, School-Based Feeding Program, Breaks, Days, Care, Andoro, and Podcasts were implemented. This were complemented by the utilization of the monitoring and evaluation tools like the Consolidated School Performance Reports, SMEA Reports, CRLA, and the Exit Assessment. It is a good start so that every stakeholder will be well acquainted with the journey that they need to take together with the teachers, parents, and the learners. All the above-mentioned activities are imperative. Another thing that was given premium is the management of the school operations and resources. Data information using ICT is instrumental in ensuring efficient and effective school operations as manifested in the LIS, EBEIS, WINS, ESAT, IPCRF, OPCRF Online Link, SMEA, LRMDS, and the DPDS. Liquidation Reports, Updated Transparency Board, and budgetary requirements was also given attention. Apart from this, school facilities and equipment were managed as reflected in the approved program of works and the like. Staffing such as load distribution and the grade level and subject area assignment were observed in the copy of the teaching loads, class program, designation, and the school profile. To ensure continuous delivery of instruction without being hampered by disasters, LCP, School Contingency Plan, DRRM Action Plan, and Hazard Mopping were carried out. Going through the rough waters has never been easy, but keeping an eye on the direction towards the goal has fueled everyone's determination to keep with the journey. Teaching and learning has been the top priority. That is why, contextualization and implementation of learning standard was evidenced by the teacher's IPCRF, 
lab sessions, technical assistance, and contextualized learning materials. Teachers were assisted through mentoring and coaching and the provision for technical assistance to improve their teaching practice. Data-based interventions were implemented like the Banyuai and other reading programs to assist the struggling readers. A learner-friendly environment was also achieved through the implementation of child protection policy and empowering the learners of their rights as reflected in the pupils and students' handbook. This has also paved the way to learners' discipline policies that are developed collaboratively with the stakeholders. This can be traced in the BELCP signed by the public school's district supervisor, school policy on anti-bullying, and the implementation of positive discipline in the classrooms. The school will certainly not be considered as a sanctuary of learners without the persons who are ensuring their transformation and development. So the teachers will be functioning well and will be taking exceptional steps. Professional reflection was done to improve practice. Performance management system, as reflected in the consolidated IPCRF development plan, mentoring and coaching forms were given attention to support the career advancement of the teachers. Professional development initiatives like INSET, ASLAP, FGDs were implemented to address the performance gaps among the school personnel. The indomitable spirit of the school heads has no room for pessimistic views even on the roadblocks and tribulations that they have encountered. This can be attributed to the constructive relationship between the parents, community, colleagues, and authorities that fosters a transforming environment. School organizations like the SPTA has been instrumental in the realization of student-centered programs, projects, and activities. This has been achieved through effective communication through the use of different platforms for information sharing and advocacy dissemination. Having been in a circle of enabling leaders who goes beyond conventional, they are ready to take a step outside their stations to be of service to other schools in forms of speakership, judge, and as a member of the technical working group. The sight of the mountains intimately kissing the sky and the waters is an indication of a successful journey. Year 2022 is about to end. But this will not put a red light on the aspirations of these transformative souls who have labored day and night just to be of service to the learners, parents, teachers, community, and the stakeholders. Their moral compass and visionary lenses led to a well-defined sail until reaching the shore. Without them, Going beyond the expectations will surely not be attained. These are the captains of the different performing schools in District 5. Mr. Marlon Assis of Tulatula Pequeño Elementary School. Mr. Rodolfo Tuason of Pinampo Elementary School. Mrs. Michelle Dungawan of Kevasi Elementary School. Mrs. Miraflor Ross of Christina R. Princesa Memorial Elementary School. Mr. Jesus Cha of Makalidong Elementary School. Mrs. Lorna Bessin of Makalidong Elementary School, Kiasa Extension. And Dr. Augusto F. Ross Jr. of Jograsha's B. Princesa Memorial High School. As part of the community where good becomes great under the supervision of the dynamic and supportive 
Public Schools District Supervisor of District 5, Mrs. Joan Bajola Kipid, these school leaders will continue to learn, to achieve, and to transform.